Hey guys, welcome to vtcacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss few examples on trigonometric functions of complementary angles. So, coming to the first example. So here the given example is find the values of sin 5 pi by 3 and also find the value of tan 855 degrees. So first let us find the value of sin 5 pi by 3. So hence we can write sin 5 pi by 3 as sin 2 pi minus pi by 3. So here 2 pi is nothing but 360 degrees. So hence we already know that sin 360 degrees minus theta lies in fourth quadrant and in the fourth quadrant only cos and secant are positive rest all other ratios are negative. So here we get minus sin theta as the result of sin 360 minus theta. So that implies we get here minus sin pi by 3. So here the value of sin pi by 3 is nothing but minus sin 60 degrees as pi equal to 180 degrees. So hence we already know that sin 60 is equal to root 3 by 2. So hence we get the result over here as minus root 3 by 2. And now let us consider tan 855 degrees. So we can write this in the form of tan 900 degrees minus 45 degrees. So that implies we can write 900 as tan 5 into 180 degrees minus 45 degrees. So here it is in the form of tan 180 minus theta. So tan 180 minus theta lies in second quadrant and in second quadrant only sine and cosecant are positive. So that implies we get the result over here as minus tan 45 degrees. So we already know the value of tan 45 degrees. So that implies we get the result as minus 1. And now let us proceed and discuss one more example. So here the given example is simplify cot theta minus 13 pi by 2 and also simplify tan minus 23 pi by 3. So first let us consider cot theta minus 13 pi by 2. So hence we can write this in the form of cot minus of 13 pi by 2 minus theta. So here it is in the form of cot of minus theta. So we get the result as minus cot theta. So here we get minus cot 13 pi by 2 minus theta. So that implies we get here minus cot and we can write 13 pi by 2 in the form of 6 pi plus pi by 2 minus theta. So here it is in the form of cot 180 plus theta. So 180 plus theta lies in third quadrant and in the third quadrant only tan and cot are positive and rest all other ratios are negative. So here we get the result as minus cot pi by 2 minus theta. And now here it is in the form of cot 90 minus theta which lies in first quadrant and in first quadrant all the ratios are positive. So we get here minus tan theta which is the result of cot theta minus 13 pi by 2. And now let us consider tan minus 23 pi by 3. So now we can write this in the form of minus tan 23 pi by 3. And now let us simplify. So here we get minus tan 6 pi plus 5 pi by 3. And now it is in the form of tan 180 plus theta. So 180 plus theta lies in third quadrant and in third quadrant only tan and cot are positive. So here tan remains positive and here we get minus tan into 5 pi by 3. And here we can simplify this further and write it as minus tan 2 pi minus pi by 3. And here it is in the form of tan 180 minus theta which lies in second quadrant. And in second quadrant only sine and cos are positive. So here tan becomes negative. 
So here we get minus of minus tan pi by 3. So that implies here minus into minus becomes plus and we get tan pi by 3 as the result and here tan pi by 3 is nothing but tan 60 degrees and we already know the value of tan 60 which is root 3. So hence root 3 is the value of tan minus 23 pi by 3. So this was the basic introduction on how to solve examples by using such trigonometric functions of complementary angles. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.